Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an amazing add-on that I just, you know, stumbled upon when I went over to the Blender Market. So I was just, you know, scrolling around Blender Market and I found out that the guys from Polygonic that they do have a 33% off that you can actually take advantage of and get a pretty cool tool. So I went ahead and made a purchase for that. And the name of this add-on is the Car Library Traffic. Now there is a whole lot of things that you can find with this add-on that is not only car. I kind of feel that maybe they should have just named it the Traffic Add-on, but then let's get right into it. So how you can get started with this is, first of all, you need to go ahead, make a purchase, get this. Now that it's 33% off, I think it's the best time to own this tool because afterwards you're going to get all of the updates that will be coming over to this tool totally for free. So there's a whole long list of things that is going to enable development and stuff just in case you want to get high quality assets and you would be able to have advantage of having this right now. So with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how you can get this up and running. So once you download this how you can get it installed is pretty easy go over to edit go to preference go over to the section where you have as add-on then you load the add-on file directly in there and once you load on the file you would find this somewhere within the sidebar here so if you press n on your keyboard you would now notice that you have it right here known as traffic which is pretty much what this tool is so how you can actually get up and running with it is simple if you go over to the big button that is called spawn asset if you click right here you would notice that there is a set of contemporary cars right here so if you click you would notice you have high quality cars actually we can go ahead and take a look at these cars so if i click on one of them i can choose to get random color if i want if i don't want random color i can let that be but before you actually talk about how you can bring these things in let's take a look at some other things that you can find with this so so right now you'll be able to get these cars and then you can also get some classic cars which are pretty cool these are going to be updated over a period of time as you know they have already stated it out and i did reach out to the developer and talked about it and he said that you know they are continuing a couple of developments and things are going to get better from here on so i'm very hopeful about that next off is the public transport so there is also public transport here and then there are street elements so if you're into architecture you're trying to get some realism you're trying to create some traffic you're trying to work on some pretty cool stuff i think these are very high quality stuff that you can throw in your scene afterwards we now have street sign this is actually a whole lot i don't know who actually takes their time to do this stuff but it is pretty cool to see that you can just simply drag and drop this directly in your scene so more like what i'm going to say whenever you get a tool like this you're actually getting your money's worth so i'm going to go this way and you know click and make sure i get this right here if you want to get random colors you can select random colors which you can actually get and then if you want this to be a detailable then of course you can do this now there is something that you might also want to check out so first things first i'm going to just simply get this out and you can see how marvelous this is i mean the quality that you get from this is crazy so this is pretty cool we can simply go around this and this is for just one of the models so i'm just going to go ahead and position this right here and let's spawn something else actually if i type the word bmw let's see if we have that and press enter all right so we have something like that i'm just also going to go ahead and click right here so i will be able to get this right here and you can see it's pretty decent you know you don't really get this much um stuff those days i mean things that are very very high quality like this you don't really get them like that so this is pretty high quality so in case you are also thinking about getting cars that you want to use for some show reels or maybe you want to do some rigging or maybe you're just trying to get some pretty cool product design stuff happening this is going to be it so from here you can also choose to convert this to editable objects if this is what you want so if you want to be able to edit this right now you cannot you can go ahead and do that but before we do that there's also some pretty cool stuff that you might want to know so with the tool like this you might want to get some random colors so what i am going to do is simply pick on any of the cars that we have here so maybe i can pick a mini cooper i like that one and i'm just going to turn off the random color and from here i'll just simply go over to color like green make sure i have random color selected then click on ok so once we click on ok we're going to get the mini cooper right here now with the mini cooper here on our scene we can easily make several copies and with these copies you can randomize how you want the color to be let me show you so with this right here if i hold on alt and d and move this backwards you can see we have a different color of car we can do that as well 
and we can do this as well and you know we can just simply go ahead and do as much as we want so another question you guys will be asking is why is it not touching the floor so for this one there is a very cool tool that they've made which is within the beta and with a tool like this you can actually go in and make the cars match the floor what i mean by that is also if i go ahead and make a simple plane let's simply scale this plane a little bit more and have something like that for these other models i'm also going to go through and pick them up raise them all the way up and simply position them backwards let's create some social distance in here one here and then one right here also we're just going to do something like this okay so it's pretty cool that we have this one here so what i'm going to show you guys is if you click on one and click on snap to ground automatically it snaps so let's see if we can make a couple of them snap to the floor yep you can i can also go ahead and select all of these and snap them to the floor and select all of these and snap them to the floor now regardless of where your stuff was created you can easily snap all of these things to the floor there is also a very cool stuff that this model does or you know this add-on does that i would like to show you guys so you can see from here where we have this object half and half so i'm just going to go this way where you can see we have half of this model outside here and we have half of it in here if i simply select and do the snapping you would notice that it doesn't snap to the floor owing to the fact that these is not covering the space which i think is pretty cool so what you can do is you can go ahead and just simply move this one backwards a bit and then grab onto this object and snap this to the floor if you have missing textures you can use this right here to find the missing textures if you want to edit this you can also simply edit them so how you can edit these things is very simple so for this object right here if you want to convert this to an editable object all you need to do is select it and click on convert to editable and right now once this is done you'll be able to have access to edit all of the properties of the cars all right so you can simply select this right now and go over to this section and make changes as much as you want now if you also want to make changes let's say you want to add some extra features you can also go ahead and add this this tool is supported for blender 2.8 all the way to 2.82 but i'm currently using the 2.9 and this works perfectly fine so with that said let's talk about some other cool stuff that you have here so if you simply go over to the motorcycle right now they have only one motorcycle that is here now for subsequent updates there are a couple of things that you will be able to get which includes boats ferraris reactions ships spacecraft helicopters train subway as this is the beta section of this tool and i think for the most part that they're trying to create a software or they're trying to create a plugin that can actually get every single model that you're trying to find on the internet right in your hands and if you're also thinking about maybe using the motorcycle they do have a very cool motorcycle right here so i'm just going to go ahead and you know pull this all the way backwards and pull this this way so this is pretty cool in case you are trying to get something like that on the other hand you can also use any of these street signs if you want to show certain street signs of course you can just simply bring them directly into your scene and it is pretty easy for you to go ahead and position this however you want so if this is also something that you're looking forward to it's very interesting to see that there is a tool that would ease out the burden of you trying to make this stuff and you know map them and on the other hand if you're trying to just simply get a very good quality stuff imagine this bike and see how much time was taken to create this beautiful piece all right so you can see all of these things in real time and actually make some very informed decisions while trying to build your own traffic or your own scene and it's very interesting to see that developers are coming up with tools and things that can make your life very easy and at the same time i'm very very supportive of developers that are creating tools that is funding blender so once you're a contributor i'm actually drawn to your tool and it's very interesting to see that we have tools like this that will definitely make your life easier so if you want to get this tool right now from now to the 10th of june 2020 you can actually get this and it is a very interesting time to see that you can have a tool that you can use for your architectural designs you can use it for your you know your traffic design and you have high quality models that you can actually use for product designs and so on and so forth and since we're working with blender 2.9 it's pretty easy for you to simply go ahead you know make some changes around build some houses we already talked about the modeling tool which you can use to create houses you can do that put the traffic lights where you have the traffic lights put the other tools where you have the other tools and this is going to be very interesting so once this is done you can now simply go ahead and 
gets your stuff up and running by throwing in some light, moving the cameras where you want them to be. And if you're a layout designer or maybe you're into creating layouts, I think this is going to expedite the things that you're trying to make. The guys at Polygonic, they do have some other pretty cool stuff that you might want to try out. I'm going to put links in the description where you can check it out. The Botanic is very cool if you're trying to make some, you know, some trees, some plant stuff, you might actually find that one interesting. I'm very drawn to this particular one. Maybe sooner than later, I'm going to talk about tree library and they also have the animated water. I'm just going to put a link in the description. So just in case you want to check these things out, you want to make a purchase. Now that they have their discounts, it is going to be pretty interesting for you to do that. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.